Hi everyone! Every time we're doing a video, we've got lots of things to talk about. And as you can guess, with everything behind me, we do have a lot of things to talk about. So stay tuned until the end, we've got a special surprise for you. First, as you can guess, everything changed for us in the past month. The team grew and we're now seven working on the project. We've got our new office space, we moved into our new office, and we've got a brand new YouTube studio. So as you can guess, we're going to be much more active on YouTube and other social media from now on. 2024 was a great year for us. We reached 6 million downloads last year and we crossed the 70 million downloads total for CCT. That's amazing. And thank you, the community, for all the support you've been giving us. Another thing that changed is the industry. People, enthusiasts, have been pouring and giving us feedback and also for change, hardware. And I'm going to mention people who gave us, who sent us hardware without knowing they were going to be featured in this video. So first, we've got the CPU here on my right hand side, which has been sent by AMD. We received the motherboard by Asus and especially Shamino, which is an overclocking legend. We received the AIO from AlphaCool. We received the memory from Corsair. And without that support, we couldn't have been able to build that setup and pour all the features on the CPU test in OCCT. So thank you guys. And thank you to Hoffman for this amazing open bench table with our logo, a prime example of the community helping the community. And a guilty pleasure of mine. You may not know it, but I'm a huge anime fan and especially a free run fan. And sewing that beautiful setup featured on Starforge System's main page got me completely excited and they sent us one. And really, thank you, Ethan, for that. And now to the main topic, the Linux version of OCCT. You've been asking for it for years. We even had a Reddit thread a few days ago asking when it will be available. Well, it's available right now in alpha version for our supporters. And we've been in closed alpha before and it's working really, really great. True to the spirit of OCCT, we kept things simple. No packaging, no dependency. It's a simple file. You make it executable, you double click on it, it starts, period. And for the geeks out there, no need for root permissions. All right, you will get less sensors without root permissions, there is nothing we can do about that, but it will still work. And one thing to stress is that we can do everything we do under Windows under Linux in a native version. You want to test your CPU, your memory, your 3D card? You can. To address the elephant in the room, there is no HW info under Linux. So we had to come up with our own monitoring engine. It will give you all the critical values you need to stress test your hardware. We are not up to HW info level, but we will get there eventually. And we are going to invest a ton of time in getting this engine up to par and improve it over time. And we had so much fun developing this. We had a very nice surprise. We are so compatible with all the Linux distributions that guess what? We're running on the Steam Deck, and this is amazing. I mean, it feels amazing. I was in hell when I was looking at that first. So you know what that means? What if you would be able to access OCCT right from Steam? And that's what we're going to do next. We are going to release the Linux version first, and we are working with Valve to release it on Steam as soon as possible. And with all those features, we felt like you were due for another treat. Before, we were limiting the number of certificates you could do. You could do 10, you could do 100. We were limiting you for pro and personal users alike. Now, we are going to work on a per device basis, where you have a set number of computers that you can upload and test and certify their stability. However, uh, we are not going to charge you on a per certificate basis. It's now on a per device basis. But that would be too long to detail in this video. Please refer to the link below to learn more about this change. That's it for today's video. Please like and subscribe because we've got lots of cool things coming up for you. And we didn't invest in that studio for a single video. 
So see you soon, guys.